Hi everyone. Welcome to Bawaji English Logics. And this is Bawaji Sunkara working as school assistant English at Jetty High School Mati of Padmanabham Mandal Vishakhapatnam district Andhra Pradesh. My intention behind this YouTube channel is to promote English language and literature to all the students and the upcoming teachers. As a part of English language teaching, I would like to discuss all the important grammatical elements because English language today plays a vital role in getting jobs or in developing career. So, every student and every upcoming teacher should have the basic knowledge of English language. As a part of this, I would like to discuss the grammatical components of English language which would really help the students to enrich their language. To begin with, we shall have a discussion on sentence and its types. Sentence and its types. First of all, what is a sentence? What is a sentence? Sentence means a group of words which gives a complete sense. What is a sentence? A group of words which gives a complete sense. So what is the meaning of this? Sentence is a group of words and that should have complete meaning. If it doesn't have complete meaning, it cannot be called as a sentence. That means, sentence means it should have complete meaning. Rose is a beautiful flower. Rose is a beautiful flower. So, this is what we call as a sentence. This is what we call as a sentence. Rose is a beautiful flower. This is what we call as a sentence. So, sentence means it is a group of words which gives a complete sense. Sense means meaning. So, without meaning, we cannot call anything to be a sentence. Parts of a sentence. Parts of a sentence. There are two parts in every sentence. How many parts? There are two parts in every sentence. Two parts. There are two parts in every sentence. What are the two parts of a sentence? Subject and predicate. What are the two parts of a sentence? Subject and predicate. There are two parts in a sentence and what are the two parts in a sentence? Subject and predicate. We should know what is a subject and what is a predicate. We should have a clear idea on what is a subject and what is a predicate. The first part of the sentence is called as subject. The 
the first part of the sentence is called as subject the first part of the sentence is called as subject so subject means it tells about what or whom we are speaking about it tells about what or whom we are speaking about for example ramesh is a good boy ramesh is a good boy about whom we are speaking here we are speaking about ramesh we are speaking about ramesh so this is the first part and this first part is called as subject so here ramesh is a person whom okay so subject speaks about what or whom we are talking about so ramesh so the second part of the sentence what we are speaking about the subject what we are speaking about the subject so what we are speaking about ramesh ramesh is a good boy so predicate tells about the subject so what is the duty of predicate predicate tells about the state or the action or the condition of the subject so ramesh is a good boy this part can be called as predicate and this is the second part the first part is subject and the second part is predicate so every sentence has two parts the first part is subject and the second part is predicate so what is the subject of whom or of what we are speaking is called as subject the first part and what we are speaking about the subject is a predicate what we are speaking about ramesh we are saying that ramesh is a good boy so that is the second part that is what we call as predicate lion is a dangerous animal lion is a dangerous animal so what will be in this sentence what will be the subject and what will be the predicate so of what we are speaking we are speaking about lion what we are speaking about the lion is a dangerous animal so this becomes the subject and this becomes the predicate so lion becomes the subject and is a dangerous animal becomes the predicate so what we have to understand here parts of a sentence every sentence contains two parts the first part of the sentence is called as subject and the second part of the sentence is called as predicate coming to types of sentences types of sentences types of sentences there are four types of sentences in english language how many types there are four types of sentences in english language they are declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence so how many types of sentences do we have 
there are four types of sentences in english language they are declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence so let us discuss in detail of all these sentences what is a declarative sentence what is an interrogative sentence what is an imperative sentence and what is an exclamatory sentence so which sentence comes under the category of declarative sentence which sentence comes under the category of interrogative sentence which sentence comes under the category of imperative sentence and which sentence comes under the category of exclamatory sentence let us have a clear idea on all these types of sentences in the next video thank you